Hello everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel Ricky Zen. It's lovely to see you all again, it's lovely to be here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the last few videos that I've made. And today I went out and was on my own and went for a walk around the river, so I just did a little video and put that on early today as well. Um, however, I've just finished a about a 30 minute meditation um, with a couple of crystals that I recently bought um, to use alongside the Reiki healing and um, yeah it brought me on to oh it was so powerful amazing I will I will um, I'll show you the crystals of which one there were um, so one of them was amethyst which we know a little tumble stone of ameth amethyst which many of us know is really really good for the third eye and the crown and the other crystal I used was lapis lazuli which again is, is another great um, crystal for the third eye the throat um, and for developing the intuition so I thought today I would do a video about the third eye and about awakening awakening the third eye and it's something that a lot of people talk about and they're unsure of how to do it and what to do and so I thought I would unfold a few of the mysteries that I have um, come across and try to give you a little bit of an insight into how I've worked on the third eye how I've developed or are still developing my third eye um, it's just a continuous journey in energy circles. It never really ends and it just becomes more and more intense and more and more enjoyable the further down the path we go. So, yeah, where do I start with, with this? So many, I mean, I've always been quite intuitive and I've always been sensitive to energies, energy. So I've always had this sort of thing about me that has always been there. And it's only really awoken when I discovered meditation many years ago. And it was during these meditations that I started seeing colors and um, didn't really understand what they meant. And then after the meditation is when I started, be when I became attuned to Reiki and had had Reiki sessions and did my various levels in Reiki, and and then the colours started again during Reiki sessions, and I was uh, so then I was having to kind of work out what these colours mean and this correlation between these colours and seeing these colours and what it was all about. I then come to found, find out that you know seeing colours is is part of the awakening process with regards to the third eye. Um, so when we start to, I mean, we we awaken, and you know things start to develop and shift within our energy when it's right for our for our energy for our soul our journey for our purpose um, there are some people that try to awaken the third eye and you know they do it very very quick and it becomes a bit of a, a scare fest because it can be quite an unusual process and lots of things become very can become very extreme and we'll I'll go into this more in depth as we go um, as we know as with Reiki it is used to develop your energy it works on your body mind and spirit so it heals you on every single level and the more you heal with it the more you use Reiki the more you are up we're getting healed as well so it's constantly developing you as a person as an energy being 
um, for your highest will and good and for your highest purpose. So obviously when I was younger and I was aware that something was there, something was slightly different, and then I found the meditation and the Reiki, a lot of pieces started fitting together. And if I didn't discover the Reiki, I wouldn't have discovered things like crystals or, you know, sage, palo santo, cleansing things, um, how to use various tools, using oils, um, using crystals with meditation, using crystals within healing. So that, that there's so many different paths that do become opened up as we move down this journey. And then you start hearing people say about the awakening, the awakening process, spiritually awakening, Kundalini awakening, you know, it, it's all basically the same thing. It's, it's seeing, it's seeing through, it's seeing through the fa facade of the three dimensional world that we reside in. So we have to remember that yes, we are here and we are residing in a three dimensional existence. However, through the third eye, we start seeing deeper into that. We start seeing more, whether it's during a physical day-to-day, -day, going about things, watching the TV, watching the movies, watching the media, and you start seeing things through it. And you start reading into it and you see the hidden subliminal messages and a lot of people when they start seeing this and it starts happening they actually think that they're cracking up and they're going a bit gaga so this may be because they've kind of pushed themselves too far they've not kept themselves grounded as I've said in many videos the key to um, true spiritual development is healthy roots, keeping yourself grounded, keeping this strong energetic body from bottom to top. If you go off just thinking that's all I need to do is just work on my third eye and my crown and bingo, ah uh ah, -uh, wrong. Um, it's going to have this kind of felled tree effect um, and you will kind of you will fall like a felled tree because it can be very, very mind blowing. You know, and you know that the awake as we awaken, you know, we awake we are awakening to our our true self, our conscious reality and being aware of our consciousness, our Christ consciousness, our presence, whatever you want to call it. And then as I say, we're starting to see, you'll start to see colours more vividly. Even with the normal eyes, your actual vision with your normal eyes will probably improve as well. Um, as you start to develop the third eye and it becomes more open, more awake, functioning on a fuller scale. So there's many things within our world that don't want you to awaken to your true self. They don't want you to open the third eye. They don't want you to develop spiritually. As I said in one of my previous videos not so long ago, what, what we are going through currently is a spiritual battle and it is designed to basically to drive the fear of God into every single person to bring them down, dumb them down. And this has been a systematic way of being for hundreds, thousands of years of this, this roller coaster, this cycle of control. And it's become more and more prevalent now 
than ever before when the people that are awakening are seeing it and seeing what is really going on. So, ways of developing the third eye. So if you want to go down this road and you feel that it's right for you and it's something that you need to do or you want to do or you feel you have this indication that it's the next step for your spiritual development then there are various things we can do so meditation is the first and foremost probably the most important part of you know a spiritual life spirituality um, going within and connecting with yourself connecting with your soul and seeing what you see with your eyes closed if you ask the questions you will probably get an answer either within or here meditation with visualizations so a guided meditation with a visualization for you to be walking across a sandy beach breathing with the ebb and flow of the tide seeing the tide coming in going out using your mind's eye to see this visualization this is another way of seeing developing your third eye there's lots of little exercises you can do to use a third eye and try to activate it and awaken it trying to reduce flu ride from your flu ride intake is another big factor so I mean this has been talked about many times by many people but reducing your fluoride intake fluoride actually decalcify it calcifies the pineal gland which is your third eye and you know fluoride is being given to us on the basis that it's good for your teeth and a lot of people still believe that but I've not used fluoride toothpaste for probably about two years now and to be honest with you my teeth are probably cleaner than what they were when I used fluoride toothpaste I also use a water filter which removes quite a lot not all of it but quite a lot of the fluoride from the water as well as all the other poisonous chemicals that go within the water to clean it so the water I drink now is all filtered every time so we've got meditation we've got visualizations we've got um, reducing your flu ride you've got um, non-toxic water adding a little freshly squeezed lemon to your water is also a really really good way of helping to realkalize the body and it also helps to decalcify the pineal gland drinking the lemon water um, when you see pictures of, of the pineal gland it almost looks like a little it's like a little pine pineapple or a pine cone so pineapple again is another really good thing for decalcifying the pineal gland and eating certain nuts walnuts um, they're really good for the brain so there's little gifts and things within mother nature that we can use the foods the fruits the fresh fruit the fresh water and then we can start using things like reiki energy energy healing which is really good for development mind body spirit on every energy level however if you're not reiki trained or you haven't had reiki or then that's fine you don't have to have reiki but it can help however meditation is another form of healing mind body and spirit so then after that we can start using things like crystals 
and finding crystals that are of a higher vibration, a higher energy. So the higher the vibration, the higher energy, we're going further and further up the energy body. So crystals such as amethyst, lapis, uh, labradorite, moldavite, um, what else have we got, sodalite, um, there's loads and loads of uh, clear quartz, really powerful, really high vibrational crystal for third eye and the crown chakra. Um, and just meditating with these, you know, you're putting them on your third eye, laying on your back, put one on there, close your eyes, you know, and just see what happens, see what you feel. But for me, the indication that my third eye was starting to activate and it was starting to open, um, it, was an, it was an unusual feeling um, when it first started a few years ago, um, when it really started to pick up energy. Um, I was using Moldavite on my third eye and it was the first time I actually astral travelled using Moldavite but I could feel this sort of, it was like something was running down my head but inside so I just kept going within, kept going with it because I thought well the Moldavite's doing something, it's it's helping in some way and it's, it's unblocking something and healing something so I just went with it and let it do its thing and then it kind of like run down here and then just kind of stopped here where the crystal was laid and I was laid on my back with my eyes closed and I could feel like tingling and movement within the head and I thought this that's the third eye there's something happening at the third eye you know Moldavite is really it's it's really really powerful and you know it's it's something that you know, if you're not used to it, only use it in small bits, I would say. Just get used to it, get used to the vibration. But it's so powerful, it's, it really, really is an amazing crystal for awakening, perfect protection, development, opening the third eye, and healing as well on many levels. So, this started to happen and then the astro astral projections uh, started where I just kind of like lifted up my body slightly and then I just came straight back in and then I was like well what was that and then I kind of like realized what it was anyway that's that's another story for another day astral travel that's um, I mean I've done a couple of videos on it before already anyway um, so yeah for me, this feeling that was in the head, it almost felt like whenever I went into a meditation, it felt like if there was a flower in my head and it was opening up, it felt like I could feel like the petals opening up in my head. That's what it felt like. And to me, that is my indication that my third eye is opening. I'm becoming ready to see. I'm starting to see. Um, but now it's it's at the point where it's kind of it's it's pretty much always working and it's it it's always active and and that's fine. However, you know, as I said before, there is times where it can become quite overwhelming, um, where you start to see through things or see things around people you start seeing auras you know you're like oh the first time i saw someone's aura i was kind of like i was a bit like blown away by it all it doesn't happen all the time but sometimes when i see it i'm like oh now i'm intrigued and i'm like i'm trying to analyze people's aura and i'm seeing what's going on with it and i'm watching the movement of the energy and, and seeing what's happening and it becomes more and more intriguing um it's absolutely fascinating when it does start to happen but these are a few of the things that we can do to help awaken the third eye. And a couple of the 
latest things that I've come to realise, I mean, I haven't watched the news on the TV for years because it's it's basically brainwashing and dumbing people down. So that is another thing you can take out of your life is stop watching mainstream media, stop watching crap TV because as we're aware that everything is energy, the media and the TV is designed at a certain vibration to keep you down and sucked in like kind of just you just lose <laughs> you lose this extra aspect and, and that's kind of what it's designed to do it's designed to do that and it's got so many people hooked to it there's so many people that aren't and that's good um, but yeah, reducing that, taking that out of your life altogether is so, so good for development of the pineal gland. The other thing you can do as well is reduce your time staring at your phone screen or looking at social media and look at things or listen to music that has more of a positive vibration. As I said in my other video the other day about listen to a music of a certain hertz. So the TV and the mainstream media and some music as well is all designed to be fed to the people at a certain vibration, at a certain hertz to keep them kind of lulled and submissive and quite dopey really um, so changing that and going on to something of higher vibration more peaceful music using the meditation to raise your vibration using your crystals to raise your vibration getting into mother nature getting rid of the mainstream media the mainstream TV I mean, I, I do still watch TV and do still watch some TV programs, but it's usually stuff that's quite either light-hearted comedies that I like, um, or it'll be like paranormal programs or ghost hunting programs and that sort of thing. Um, but I don't really watch a lot of TV. Um, I don't really pay much attention to the news or what is going on. Um, I keep a very, very tiny aspect of what is happening because whenever I see a headline, I always think, right, flip it round so you can see what is actually happening. Because again, it's all designed to create this, it's this churning of fear, fear, fear and to and that is the way that the mainstream media and the tv works is designed to keep you in the state of what's going to happen next or oh, i must keep watching this i'll have to stay keep or oh, the, oh, this has happened breaking news break 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 it's breaking you down bit by bit to the point where now a lot of people are just like it's just laughable it's just absolutely laughable and many many people are seeing it now because there's so many people that are awakening and you know the third eye is activating and it you know this is this has been what is happening with people awakening this has been prophesized in many many um texts and what is happening is is those out there the powers that be don't want it to happen because as soon as everybody does awaken everyone will see the illusion the lies the corruption the control so this is why it can be a little bit kind of scary to a lot of people because they think everything out there is real <laughs> 
but if we look deep inside and we're working our intuition developing the intuition the intuition comes from your third eye but it also comes from your heart chakra it's this inner soul calling this soul feeling and when something feels like shit and if it smells like shit it's going to be shit <laughs> basically so this is things that I've done over many many years since starting with the meditation probably around about 10 years ago you know and going on this gradual path of discovery discovering myself um, getting over you know depression anxiety getting through my spiritual awakening um, realizing that there is much more to this facade than is actually shown and that is kind of what the awakening is the spiritual awakening it's realizing that you know we are looking at everything from every angle every aspect with every eye open not just the two every single eye open we are we are working through the energy body we are feeling we are sensing we are seeing we are experiencing everything in the moment as it is and working with the intuition working with the soul working with your higher chakras and eventually working with your spirit guides your friends and spirit that are in communication with you and guiding you along your way to help you on this process so getting it getting into mother nature is another great way of helping you to awaken because just going into nature alone helps raise your vibration makes you feel good you know breathing in the air feeling the wind around you hearing the water or in the river or by the sea at the coast you know this is all really really rejuvenating for the soul the soul needs this when you're starting to awaken it needs to feel this connection between you and mother earth because at the end of the day we are one you know we are all connected to mother nature to earth i mean when i went for that walk today wow i just felt absolutely amazing at the end of it and it was just it was just it just had to be done i, I just felt like you know what i'm just gonna go for a walk on my own so off i went and i'm so pleased that i did it felt so so good just to be out and feeling rejuvenated feeling re-energized feeling the rush of nature all around me and just taking a moment to experience everything on every level around me going on so if you're watching this welcome to your journey of awakening welcome to your third eye development welcome to the reiki zen channel and yeah there's a few little hints and indications of what you can do to help open your third eye start activating the third eye I'm starting to see so much more I'm just wondering if there's anything oh I was going to tell you about the meditation with these crystals wow yeah I went on a bit of a <laughs> but yeah I've just like I said I've just finished meditation with these and I felt absolutely like I just felt so floaty but towards the end the last 10 minutes I could feel my whole vibration was lifting I could feel myself I was sat here and I could feel myself starting to lift ever so slightly out of my physical body and I just felt so light it felt so good I was just like wow this is so powerful so lapis lazuli and amethyst that's what I was working with um, 
I put the lapis lazuli on my third eye for a bit, and then I put it on my temples for a bit just to see what I could sense and see and feel. And I did the same with the amethyst. And then just sat with them both in each hand in my lap, just closed my eyes and just breathed and just listened to the music. I was just totally aware of my surroundings, of what was going on. And then I just started to lift and started to see. It was almost like um, Egyptian tombs, like Tutankhamun, like the um, what he was, his cask that he was put in. And fully enough, on his cask and on his jewelry, what what a lot of the um, Egyptians used to wear, they all wore crystals. If you look, a lot of a lot of leaders. Um, in crowns, in what they wear, a lot of the stuff that they wear has crystals in it because they are also aware of the power. And I remember watching a documentary about um, Egypt and lapis lazuli was heavily used in their their jewellery, their costumes, what they wore, um, the staffs that they held had lapis lazuli, had amethyst, had quartz, had various different um, crystals and properties within them. So even then they knew. We've always known of the power of crystals and how amazing they are. So yeah, that was my meditation. It was absolutely amazing, really, really amazing. Um, but yeah, don't forget though, obviously when you're going into nature you're keeping grounded but when you start to work on the upper chakras always keep grounded keep yourself protected cleanse your aura with um sage palo santo anything like that keep wearing your obsidian wear your black tourmalines anything like that to keep you um keep protected and grounded um like i say if you become unsteady then you know, things start to either latching on when, you, when you're starting to raise. I've just dropped it. It's flown over there. I was trying to wonder where it was. Um, or you can just become a bit disorientated when you start. You can become a bit, a bit sway. So, yeah, keep yourself grounded. Keep yourself protected. But enjoy your journey and enjoy your awakening and um, if there's anything you need me to cover um, with regards to this or if you need some more details about anything then do let me know. Um, and